Oh. How's it going? Mary? Don't you get on up here on this front. There's no need to stand in there in that hole. Yeah, no. <laughs> no nice, Max is on. Dude, well, it smoked it. He's you not think? Jumping. Yeah. He's not jumping. That's a walleye. walleye. That's a walleye. <laughs> Look at that. How long did that take? First walleye. <laughs> nice work, <laughs> man. <laughs> nice. Oh. Nice net job. Dude. Yeah, man, great dude. First fish of the day. Wow. Max Moore, I told you he was going to outfish me, man. He's killing. I'm glad we got that off. Yeah, oh, yes, pressure's right off now. Look at that. At that fish. There it is. First, First walleye. walleye. Good ever. job, Max. Max came out of here and said all he wanted was a walleye. We've been out here, what, eight minutes, yes. maybe? First fish For of the my day. Whole life. Look at those chompers. <laughs> Ooh First walleye in the box. Max, nice. Where he hit was about right there. Or no, yeah. it was more like right. A little bit closer. It was like in the, in between us and the boat. That's good to know. That size of bait, I, I can't remember if you and I fished that little bait last time. Uh, I think we did. But I don't know. We, you might have. I don't think I did. We were pretty well on the, you know, I think we threw Ned Rig and Shaky Head. Yep, yep. Shaky head was the big I one. This swim bait. No I way. You're on again? I was about to narrate and talk about the last one you caught. Oh, dude, that's a good bass. It's a good bass. Oh, oh, he's Oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. Yeah, just let him float. On again. I wasn't letting it sink as much. Dude, that's a good bass. He's got like a stunted nose or something. Yeah, I told you, man. I told you. Yeah, he's Next cast, one. Max is on again with a nice bass, dude. That's, Great fish. That's a stud. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, awesome. Max. Killing it, man. I didn't get back to fishing and quit fil filming all of Max's. I'm not going to catch any. Look at him. Oh, he's nice. Beautiful release. Yeah, that is the best Good release. Good job, I've dude. What are you catching them on? Show us. Oh, Show gosh. us. Like the smallest swim bait that I would use for like bluegill or crappie. Mike said this little swim bait's been getting it done for him. And he wasn't there. And there it is. That's two casts in a row. Max's first walleye and a nice bass. I, I don't know what I'm doing over here. All right, y'all, real quick while I got 30 seconds between Max's catches. Oh man, I thought you were setting the hook. I was about to push you in the lake. We are out here with Mike Newman. You guys may remember him. From a previous episode I did out here, we caught some hybrids. We are here on Broken Bow Lake in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Just got done doing some trout fishing yesterday with Trey and Morgan Prater, good friends of mine. And this time we brought Max Moore. And I was telling Mike, don't think he's gonna be a liability. This kid's gonna outfish me for sure. And then there it was, two casts in a row. All he wanted was a walleye, just knocked it out. Then he followed it up with a killer bass, next cast. So as I knew what happened, Mike's put us on him here first thing in the morning, first stop. We've been fishing for five minutes. Max is setting the hook right this. All right, I'm getting back to fishing. We'll, we'll see you in a minute. They're biting right? Yeah, yeah, this is not the time to be. <laughs> Beautiful birds, man. I went to Alaska too last summer. It ain't a sea lion. <laughs> that oh. looks like you're going careful. Just careful. You got a light line on there, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. Just, we're not in a hurry. How big is this line? <laughs> Eight pound, he told Eight you. Pound. So okay, just take okay, your time. Okay. Just take your time. No I rush. Yeah, there is some brush. Okay, so. did you see that swirl where he is? There is some brush, so you don't want to let him go. Just too hey, focus. Far that way. Focus. He just said he saw a swirl, so it's got to be up pretty high. Though. Man, what is this? I don't know. It might be a cat. might be a little cat. Could be. Oh, it's Bummer not right jumping. Here. That's a smallie. That's a, that's a nice bass, dude. That's a smallie. You just take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Don't force it. But I keep your right tip down so he doesn't jump as much. Oh my gosh, bro. Why that's a smallie. Oh. Uh, what is, what is oh, happening don't here? Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Man, that's a good fish. He's not coming up. Look at this thing. I need to get some of these swim baits. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You got a nice, nice walleye, a great bass. And this might be your big fish of the day, is Smalley. 
you just focus. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Quit, don't be <laughs> celebrating before you get him in. It ain't over. Oh, I'm yeah. not celebrating. I'm squealing in joy. <laughs> Man, he's tugging, dude. Them suckers don't quit. I'm jealous, man. Just watch the motor. Don't yeah. let him. Don't let him take in the motor. Go on the other side if you have to. I'm right here, yeah, so I'm ready. Force him the wrong way. Dude, that's a stud, Smalley. That is a good one. Lift him up. I'm ready. Oh. Camera shot. Yeah, right. Nice, dude. Oh no, just it just popped out. What's up? Look at this! Oh my God! What a day, man! What a day! What a day! Yeah, what a what a half hour is what I meant to say. Look at that. Is that your? Have you caught a smallie that big? Never. Yeah. First walleye, PB smallie, and a nice bass. That's a good start to the morning, there, bro. Man. Great job. Mike Newman putting you on him, and Max is taking advantage. At least one of us is. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Yeah, you got any more of them swim baits? Dude, like literally. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mike thought I was just like being nice to the kid, you know, saying, oh no, he's good angle. There's a rod right there that's got a swim bait, a small swim bait. Oh, I see it, yep. Yeah, we just did some crappie fishing. Look at that, what is, what the? Yeah, oh, it's a fish. Kidding? I'm gonna reel mine in. Man, I can't get two casts in, in a row before Max has got another stud on the. It's smaller, but it's not fighting like bass, so it might be a welly. Could be, could be. I'll get the net just in case, just based on prior experience this morning. He'll be on guard. Oh, that might. It's that... a wally or a walleye or a smallie. Looks like looks like a walleye. No. Oh no, white bass. White bass. Dude, right when it hit the water. Dude. That's a good one. That's a good white bass. Four keep species. It, keep it. Yeah, you want to keep, keep it? it? Let's go. Four species. Four species. Like couple minutes. Four fish. <laughs> I don't know why I came along. I'll just be your cameraman, I guess. I'll just I'll just sit down. Looky there, guys. Look at that. White bass. You want to keep him for real and take it? Yeah, eat I mean, him? dude, these things are great. Yeah, I don't, are you cool with that, Mike? Yeah. Keep him? Get a little fish fry going. Yo, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Man, you're killing it. What a day. I know, already. I'm like, I'm going to bite. I don't know what I'm doing. Day. Oh, I know what I'm doing is I'm filming you every five seconds with your... Embarrassed bringing this thing in the boat after the ones you caught. Guy, your small mouth could have eaten this large mouth. Well, guys, pretty much catching up to Max, I'd say. No. Oh my God. And I'm fishing for squirrels. Uh oh. Lord have mercy. I'll limber him. Get out of here. You might get thrown in the lake today. <laughs> this rape, you don't know, calm down. Don't swim bait. Okay. Man. Those are pretty good fish. Got a lot of giddy up too. Yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. With the net? Ah, we'll get him. That's a largey, huh? Yeah. Man, great fish. Look at that. Mike Newman. Showing us how it's done. Got beautiful markings on all these yeah. fish in here. I think that yeah. clear water just. Yeah, it really makes them show up good. Yeah. Beauty on the swim bait, yeah. purple and blue. Color I said I would never throw in fresh water. <laughs> Making me change my mind here. I'm rethinking a lot of things this morning, actually. Three or four. There we go. Uh oh. Small mouth. It's a little small mouth. It's right there at the boat. Catching up. Both your fish could have eaten both my fish. <laughs> but feels good. Yeah. Getting them on the board. Get on the Not a complete whooping. My wife is a school teacher. Oh, oh nice. I remember that now. Got him. What's that, bass? Bass. I literally net? was net? right when it, um, yeah, maybe, yeah. But, oh, oh my. Just popped. I just tied that on there too. God, I loosened this earlier. I don't know how. Did I grab a different one? It, it, no, that's the same one. It didn't. It did not. No, it is a different one. Yeah. I started off. I checked the drag on that one with the bigger oh. swim bait, and I never checked this one. Man, I don't know how many times that's happened to me. 
not checking my drag. I thought I'd learn my lesson by now. God, that was a pretty good fish. I was, yeah, that was a nice one. as I was bringing it up, I was kind of just messing around, just sort of jigging it, popping it, like at, yeah. right there by the boat. And I jigged it, and I saw a flash behind it, and so I just let it sink. I just let it drop, and then sure enough. You need me to catch the fish for you. Yeah, are you catching for me? I left him in there for you. Yeah. Just trying to be a good sports sportsman out here. Did get you one. Yeah. We're moving up into some shallow water. Well, he just got done saying, you put it in their face, they're going to eat it. Wacky Senko. I'm in desperation mode now, y'all, because Max is embarrassing me over here. Putting on a you legitimate whooping. Yeah, it's usually got way better fish. Here we go. Yeah, this one, fish, this right? is a decent yeah. one. Uh, I think I'm okay. Here, net, net. No, I'm okay. Oh, come on, girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna let you go. Whew. Wacky Senko, Old Faithful, what was I just saying? When I start getting desperate. Tough. Yeah, this thing never leaves a rod. I always have it on just in case. Because it's there. You put it in his face, he's gonna eat it. Pretty little fish, not the caliber. Max and Mike are catching, but I'll take it. That's my big bass of the day, I think. Yeah, they're all over us. Got sand bass hunting. Pushing shad to the surface right here. Look at that. Oh, look, I just had one follow it right to the, I think you might want it a little faster. You on? Got him. Got him, there you go. It ain't a sand bass. What is it? Bass. Spotted bass of the day. Spotted bass, nice. Over here watching what looked like Sandy's busting shad. Apparently there's at least some spotted bass mixed in too. They're so pretty, man. You wanna eat some? Are those good to eat? They're good to eat. Yeah? Yeah. What's the? There's no length limit, no food limit. No limits, huh? No limits. No limit, yeah. Cause they're invasive? Nope. No? I think they got a abundance of them. Enough of them in here, huh? Hey. Throw that, throw that top water a little bit. You throw it inside the hoop, you score a bucket. <laughs> you put it inside the ring when they come up. You yeah, you're gonna get them, huh? Yeah. All right. They're chasing something, so they're kind of locked in. And they're looking for, so yeah. You, you gotta get you gotta get in their wheelhouse there. Wait on one to come up. Well, they're chasing it. I got like three following it, but they're not coming. Figure eight these sand bass. <laughs> <laughs> you on? Nice. Sandy. Man, they're good ones too. They are good ones. Yep, come on. You ready? Nope, nope, spit it. You're right though, I landed it yeah. in the in the net. And he got it. I didn't even really move it, I kind of just twitched it. Yeah. Oh, he exploded on that. Wait till you feel it. Yep. Remember, on the topwater fishing, that's the key to success. Yeah, everyone sets a hook too early just because you see it, you know, excited. I don't see him now. They'll come back up, I bet you. Did you? Oh, yep, way over there. I see him. There's one right a little past that. You got him. Got him. Fish home. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it though. I just waited. You know what saying, man? Just waited for him, no? Another big spot, I think. You think? Yeah. That's a good spot. I'm just skiing him. <laughs> good spot. Nice. First spotted bass of the day for Rob. Should I keep this too? Yeah. Man, we'll just do like a little. Hodgepodge. Yeah, a little broken bow. Yeah, taste test. Feast. I was gonna say seafood feast. I guess it's just kind of seafood. On the whopper plopper, we got busting, it looks like mixed sand bass and spotted bass. And we're gonna keep some, a few of these spotted bass. We're gonna fry up some walleye, some spotted bass, and some sand bass. A little broken bow variety feast. I like it. That was the name of the last video I was here broken bow variety. It's just so cool how many different species you can catch in this little lake. So largey. Leave that. Leave that. Man. Leave that. Oh, he's got it. Oh. You just side casted that fish 30 feet below us. Yeah. That was Wait, cool. You just dropped it straight down? Right down. Yeah, he just said. 
What do you got that sinks to the bottom? He dropped that swim bait down the bottom and he came back with a fish on it. You see Drop him? it down, drop it drop down. Drop it down. Oh my gosh, I see it, yeah. So that's what we're targeting here on the Garmin Live View. Those green things are fish and there it is. <laughs> And that green thing's a fish too. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yep, and I'm on. Oh, and he dropped it. Can we triple? He dropped it. Mine, mine, mine dropped it. Mine dropped it and oh. And I'm, just put it right back down there. Yep, I got bit again as soon as he got back down and I missed it. Max, you got one? Not yet, I just got to the bottom. Are you using that slab, the spoon? Gosh, that was automatic. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Man. What's that, sandbag? I mean, then we won't. <laughs> I mean, not a ton, I guess. We'll take that one. That's a good that's one. That's a good size. Yeah, yeah. that's... I mean, really, then the big, big ones? Yeah, the big, giant ones aren't... These are... Yeah, nice. Color. That's that other color that you just yeah. switched out? Yeah. There it was. I told you that was a good looking color. Man, he hit it. It looked like three times. That couldn't take it away from him. Yeah, he said nah. He was determined. Yeah. Whoa. Nice one. Look at the belly on yeah. these fish, man. They are all just chunky. Beautiful fish, man. That is a healthy specimen of a bass right yeah. there. That's about that as healthy as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, went to the doctor, they classify him as overweight. Yeah, got an obesity problem in this leg, it's looking like. Oh, and there it is. Fish hole. There it is. Right. Nice. Back to the swim bait. Woo! He's tiny. He's not tiny. Yes. I mean, compared to the monsters you've been ripping out this morning, sure. Oh, dude, Everything's he's relative. Tiny. He's not tiny. Yeah, That's small mouth. Shit. Or no, it's a little largey. Yeah. It's a little largey. Could even be a spot. I can't tell. I can't really get a good look at it. Uh, it looks no. largey, yeah. Oh, it's got a black. It's got a black lip. Good fish, man. It's not yep. tiny. Crazy. Okay. Net. Net. Coming in. Coming in hot. Yeah. You don't want to lip him? No. I'll get him on this side. Okay, I'm ready. Walleye number two. There we go. On that little swim bait. Every time I switch up, first cast. you got me head. rethinking. It's first yeah, cast, huh? Very first cast with that one. Thinking 14? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. All right. I would not Dang, boys. Dunk that one, cause we got fish fry. We got a fish fry going here. Dude, we had a fish fry going. Way before. Yeah, you you had a fish fry go. I was gonna starve to death. I didn't. <laughs> nice. What I say? What I say? I was gonna cook one right there. Even from the camera. Oh, and he spit it because I'm talking. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be one right there on the edge of that. I cast back to the exact same spot. Dag nabbit. Turned this camera on because I knew I was going to hook up and I lost it. I mean, he's not tiny, but he ain't big. Oh, man. So, yeah, right when I say that, he's... No. Nah, he's... Is it? Yep. Yeah. Another smallie. That's what not I'm talking about. Either. Definitely a small. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. He ain't, he ain't tiny. Yeah, yeah, I haven't caught that many smallies in my life, so. They're always exciting for me. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. This is the lightest rod I brought with me, so. Man, I just love those fish. They just dig oh. twice as hard as a largemouth, I think. There's just no comparison. So, pound for pound. And that, that bigger one I got earlier, it was he was digging the whole time. Now this is good, good kind of water for your uh... For your right bush. no wind, it's good yep. for the Senko. Yep, yep, exactly. Good for the Senko. Obviously, yeah. there it is. Boom, boom, back to back, back to back casts. He is. 
On fire now. And see, look, even this little baby guy, look at his belly. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, pooping. they're gorging in there. He is also pooping on me. That is true. Back to back. I don't think I stopped recording. You hung up, buddy? Yes. We'll go get it. No, I, turns out that I actually have a, like, my line sprayed up here, so. There we go. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a better fish. Uh -oh. Net, net, net. Net. Small man. Yeah, if you want to grab the net, sure. Smally wally. Smally. I was just trying to go up around you and. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Don't worry about the coffee. He's, he's, right here. He's bigger than what you... Uh... It's a light rod, too. Light setup. Dude, that's a stud, Smalley. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah, good that's one. That's a good one. Dude, that's a, a good one. Look, look, look at the bait in his mouth. Oh, God, sorry. I just knocked your hat off your head. Sorry. No, you're good, bro. I started panicking when, we went, when he started coming up to jump. Yeah, man. This yeah. is light, light setup. Yeah. Yeah. And he's working it. Oof. Yeah. Keep it off the boat. All right, he's coming up, maybe. Oh, yeah. Dude, Daddy. that's what I'm... Oh! oh. Got him. There you go. That's what I've been looking for. There we go. Dud Smalley, bro. There we go. Dude, that was filming too, mine. And I knocked it off your head. Sorry about that. No, oh, he choked it. I was just trying to get up and around over your head, Mike. And, yeah. and there we go. Big Smalley of the day for me. About time on the Wacky Senko and... Really, we're just gonna go get Max unhung, and he's actually got something wrong with his jaw. Looks like something took a chunk out of him, maybe when he was a baby, all healed up, kind of uneven, but beautiful fish, and they're so strong, especially on that light spinning setup. But just what a fun day here. A little broken bow variety, that's what Mike Newman seems to just always put us on. Small mouth, large mouth, sand bass, walleye, sunfish. I mean, what else? I mean, just a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. All right, beautiful small mouth. Let this girl go. A little shower to send me off. Glad it ain't cold anymore. <laughs> nice, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Come back. Oh. That's kind of the medium. Yeah. Yeah, I use the super complete juniors. I might have a junior in there. That's my all-time favorite bait if I only had one bait to use the rest of my life. Joking. No way you just did that. Man, we, we're all calling shots today. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a large mouth. Happened. It's a large yeah. mouth, but... I, I swung it right over Mike's head. Right as I got over his head. That is, yeah. that is, that is, that is weird right there. So guys, I just caught the small mouth by... We're, Max was hung up, and I was having to go over Mike's head with this Senko rod, and set the hook right over Mike's head, and I was just talking about it, joking that it was about to happen again, and then sure enough, the exact same thing happened again, but this is just a little, a little larger, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's not that little, but we've been catching, we've been catching good ones today. Gosh, this looks killer. Pretty. This is what Arkansas looks like, it's more clear. Yeah, that bull shoals up there. The guy that- Not a decent one. Yeah, so you guys missed it, but while we were riding out, initially right after we launched, I had my sunglasses here and my, my hoodie, and I went to turn on my chest mount camera, and they left. Luckily, they were only $200, so no big deal. Yeah. Mike's got me. Got some backup shades in the boat, and they kind of match my, my shoes. And your shirt, kind of. I mean, it was very much like when that sun came out, it kind of just, yeah. <laughs> it just died. But when you had a morning like that, who cares? Yeah. Killer day. Yep. There it is. Look at that. We said one more cast. And there it was. First fish in an hour, I bet. Is that small? Small mouth. Pretty one. All right, well, I guess we gotta stay another hour. <laughs> in like my third glove box that I never opened, I totally forgot from when I lived in Florida, I had a magazine for my Glock. Oh, whoo. What is that? Might be a walleye. Here, here, net. It was heavy, yeah, you want me a net? Okay, I'll hold your rod, I'll hold your rod. Okay. 
What is yeah, that? Yeah, that's a walleye. 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 No, it's Smalley, I think. No, it's a walleye. Er, it's long. <gasps> no, There's another smally, one. Smalley, bro. There's another one on it. It's a it. good small... one on it. So drop, drop that in. Drop, drop that in. Drop, drop, drop. Look at that. Yeah, we got a... What? Don't get his line, bro. Oh, dang it. So wrapped. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Got there it. Got go. it. Got there it. There you go. Drop that Senko, bro. Drop that Senko in. Okay. He'll hit that before. He's not going to hit that chicky. Uh, suspended like that, I don't think. Man, that's a good small mouth, dude. That's a good small mouth. I just saw the way, when you set that hook, the way your rod acted, I was like, oh gosh. I was like, that's a good one. And he started ripping that drag. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. Nice. Oh, look at him coughing up. What's he coughing up? Fish. Fish. <laughs> good size fish. Yeah, big fish. Man, yeah, that dude, that's a tank, brother. Look at that <laughs> fish. I told you. Here, let's weigh it. God, you did tell us. And that one following it was about as big. Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit smaller. Yeah. Holy, now we're talking. Now we're talking. As soon as you set the hook, I knew that was a big something. Look at this. Beautiful smallmouth for Mike Newman here. He brought us over to this spot and said, I got a good smallmouth out there not too long ago. We should go, we should go scope it out. And there it is. 302. Great fish, Mike. Yeah. Hoo wee! And there was, I mean, like, it looked like her twin yeah. following her up. Yeah. It's probably her mate. Mike anyway. Newman. Putting us on him and putting a hurt on him too himself. Look at the stripes on her. Pretty one, huh? Gosh, that's a pretty fish. Phew. Yeah. I'll put this baby back. Don't tell your boyfriend we're coming for him next. Oh man. Oh yeah. Nice work. Bite slowed down with that sun out, but. All right, y'all. Well, the sun came out, the bite slowed down, but we still caught some fish even through that. And I mean, just what a what an incredible morning. Uh, Mike Newman, ladies and gentlemen, just put us on him again. If you didn't see last episode I did with him, I'll put a link to that right here in the top right of your screen, I think, somewhere up there. Uh, check that one out too. We got on some hybrids, it's a super fun day, but Max killed it today. Just a variety of really nice fish, different species, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Got his first walleye, which was the mission, and now his first cast of the day. So today was kind of a no pressure, no stress, no hassles, just a fun day of fishing. Broken Bow Lake, y'all, McCurtain County. I've just fallen in love with this place. If you're looking for a killer place to vacation in the middle of the country, down south, you cannot beat this place. It's got something for everyone from fly fishing, kayaking, boating, fishing, everything. Anything you want to do. Horseback riding, they got beautiful cabin rentals. You can rent the cabin that we're staying in at Trey and Morgan's place, help them out and book a trip with them and then come out for a day with Mike. It's just a not one-stop shop. I love this place. If you want to book Mike for a day, best way to do it is to call him. We were just talking. I might help him get some, some online reservation kind of things set up uh, just to make it a little easier for certain people. But give him a call. Super nice guy. He'll, he'll recommend a good time of year and what you can come fish for and whatever you want to do. So give him a call. Mike Newman. Uh, his number is down here on the screen right now. And uh, I'll also put it down in the description. If you have any trouble getting a hold of him, hit me up and, and I'll put you in touch with him. But cannot recommend this guy enough i came back here and i mean it was zero question who i was going to call it wasn't ghostbusters it was mike newman this guy's just <laughs> he just knows this lake like the back of his hand but we're going to go home get cleaned up and then max and i have been invited over for dinner mike's wife tracy uh is going to cook us up some fried chicken it sounds like which i am not mad about nope. but yeah i haven't showered since before we went fishing yesterday, Max. I'm starting to catch up to me. I'm kind of sick of smelling myself after the sun came out. So we're gonna get cleaned up, but killer day. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I don't even know what we're doing, but we got fish in the live well, so you, this might not be over. You might, we might be about to cook these up. I don't even know. I don't know what we're doing. Me neither. We'll figure it out here in a minute and you're gonna figure it out here in a second. So maybe I'll see you next week. Maybe I'll see you here in a second in the kitchen. I don't even know. See you in 0.5 seconds. <laughs> This ain't Discovery Channel, we're just yeah. winging it. <laughs> Doing two ways? Yes sir, we're gonna do a little bit of regular and then a little bit of spicy. Got the best of both worlds. Woo, a little fish fry. No all in style. Here in Beaver's Den. Can't go wrong. Can't, Can't go, go wrong. wrong with that. The New Orleans of Oklahoma, I've heard it caught, never. I've never heard it caught. Hey, get some money on. <laughs> Creole spicy. The fish in here. Yeah. Sure. And then over yonder. <laughs> Just trying to like channel my inner Oklahoman, you know? 
All right, so we got three kinds of fish. We got some sand bass, some white bass, as many people call it. I know it is sand bass, but whatever floats your boat. We got some spots, some spotted bass. So the spotted bass are so plentiful in Broken Bow Lake that there's no limit, no size regulations. You, you just can keep spotted bass always, as many as you want. We kept four of those, four sand bass, and two walleye. The two walleye that, that not, not we caught, Max caught one and Mike Newman caught one. We're gonna fry all three of these up kind of the same way and see which one, you know, kind of get a little taste comparison. Uh, I actually need to cut the bloodline out of these sand bass. I almost forgot. I'm glad I'm looking at them. Now, Robert, I feel like you've got some serious experience now with filleting fish up since you spent a lot of time in the salt. I mean, yeah, yeah. I've been known to whack a fillet off or two. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know probably. why I said it like that. Oh, my man, thanks. thanks Refreshing, citrusy, crisp, mm -hmm. fresh. I like it. Yeah, so these sand bass just have this little bloodline. I mean, it's very obvious. And it's gonna be thick there on the outside of the fillet and then real thin on the inside. See, it's just a little line. So you basically cut like a V and meat in the middle on the other side. And that way you kind of preserve as much meat as possible. So we'll just go down like towards the center and then angle your knife, do the same thing. Just kind of meet in the middle. We'll just cut that out. And basically that's where that like fishy taste comes from is this right there. And you usually end up just breaking in two pieces. That's all right, we can just do some like kind of bite-sized pieces, but that's that red color. Right before I'm about to touch food. And that's the walleye. Look how clean yeah, that, that is. is the walleye. Look how beautiful Super that meat is. So you're going egg wash and then into that fish fry. Yes, sir. So we're doing some in this regular and then some in the spicy. That's the spicy one, huh? That is the spicy. Woo, slick in. So that spicy. darker color is probably the cayenne or something Looking in there. Money. The old shake and shimmy. Shake and shimmy. Just like mama taught us. <laughs> gonna fry up some walleye first. We got sand bass ready to go. We got spotted bass. This is a, this is a feast. Broken bow feast, Hot variety fish. feast. Seafood, I was gonna say seafood, that ain't right. Lemon pepper, I think. Broken bow lake food feast. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> oh, that's it. Y'all are right, we're gonna have a ton of fish. It smells so good. That's the peanut oil there, boy. That peanut oil there, boy. <laughs> oh, man. So these aren't going to take long at all. Like a few, I mean, they've been in there a few minutes. we got some starting to float, turning golden brown. Looks like that guy's ready. Oh, yeah. A couple minutes. Let's cut them in chunks. This is quick. Definitely don't, let's not set it and forget it. You know, put them in there and don't walk away. Gosh, these are going to be good. Oh, dude, they look beautiful. All right, look at that. That does not look half bad. Three minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna try one of the uh, regular ones first. Yeah. Oh. Trey, that is delectable. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you for catching it and allowing me to cook it up. Yeah. Mike Newman, thanks to Mike Newman, really. Yeah. Thank you, Mike Newman. He put us on him. Yes. So I, yeah. I would love to trade more a trip tender with than crappie. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. But like, crappie's chewy compared to that. It is so much better. What do you think about that? Oh, dude. That might be my favorite fish. At, right now, I haven't had a lot of fish, but yeah. walleye is it's up so there. Good. It's up there. It's so up there. The steam rising? Yeah, I got some of the steam rising. Mm -hmm. All right, now I gotta try the spicy. Oh, the spicy is delicious. Yeah. yeah, I like them both. I need to get some on that tartar. I'm a, I'm a tartar. I'm a fan. I do tartar from time to time. My name is Mike Tartar. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Nobody calls you that. Nobody does. <laughs> but it worked right there. It did. It did. It did. I might start calling you all. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike. What's Mike that? Who? That guy. Mike Tartar. Mike Tartar. <laughs> no, it don't matter. There. I'll, I'll eat them. The little burnt ones up. My dad used to always say, charcoal, clean your teeth, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> now we got the sand bass going in the egg wash. Oh, these are gonna be just as good. I can already tell. Hey, Kraft, hit us up. We love your tartar. <laughs> we get on that pro staff, that Kraft pro staff. The tartar team. The tartar team. The tartar team. The tartar team. <laughs> we work harder than everybody else. <laughs> Oh my god, we work tartar. Nailed it. We work tartar than every trade market. Guaranteed. <laughs> that was We're in uh, business, boys. I just I just really appreciate you going there. That was that was a lot. I did. I did go there. Great job. 
Kraft is definitely not going to list on their tartar team. <laughs> That's okay. They taste this fish. We might start our own tartar team. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Max, you want in? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shot down by next year. <laughs> For multiple reasons. I appreciate your honesty. Mainly because I don't like tartar sauce. Yeah, right. But That's also, fair. I don't see that successing, so. <laughs> I don't see that being successful. Fine. Oh, wow. Oh, that's spicy. Sambass. Remember, you're like always at least six feet in. Who is a fish? It missed his eye. The sand bass is like melting your mouth. Still on the breath. Yeah, it just like fell apart. Like, okay, maybe our assumptions were very wrong. Oh, whoa. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Let's take this sand bass. I think I was wrong. That's great. I actually think I was wrong, man. That sand bass might be <laughs> even like softer. It's like just melt melts in your mouth. Wow. That sand bass is way better than I thought it was gonna be. It's not bad, right? Don't worry. That I'll sand do bass? It again. Dude. People act like like that nobody talks about sand bass, but it's white bass, it's delicious. Every like bit it. as good as the wall. It yeah, it's different, it but it's it is a little bit different. It's just I think it's just as good. It's tender. It like melts in your mouth. I mean, when you throw, mm -hmm. it, throw it down in some peanut oil yeah. with that's some it. Louisiana kitchen seasoning, oh, can't go wrong. Boy, can't, you can't go, can't go wrong. wrong. All right, y'all. That's going to do it. What a fun couple of days here in Hochtown, McCurtain County. I actually love this place. I got links down in the description. Check out Mike Newman. If you want to come through this area, Mike Newman, Trey, and Morgan Prater. They are just phenomenal fly guides. They're incredible people. They've become just such good friends of mine. And, uh, yeah, just cooked up some incredible fish that we caught with Mike Newman. His number is down below. Hit him up. Come through here. Bring your family. It's just an incredible place. I love this place. I'm, I'll be back. But for now, Max and I got to get on the road. We are, I'm stuffed. I'm really ready for a nap. But I got to get that boy home. And then I'm going to be getting ready to shove off in the RV, get back to my U.S. Uh, every state tour. And I'm heading to Arkansas next. So see what we get into there. Brown trout's on the menu. Catfish is on the menu. Got some things coming up, y'all. It's going to be fun. But... Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. So great to have you guys here. It means the world to me. But yeah, subscribe if you dig it. And I'll see you next week. Peace.